Living in America, of course, cars play a very important role in all our lives. What car do you own? How fast does it go? What level of luxury does it have? And really, when you think about it, it is the best opportunity you have to make a great first impression. Whether you're going to a fancy lunch, a very important business meeting, or even dropping your precious little kiddies off at school. But all that put together, it did make me think, who does make right now the fastest four-door sedan? One of the most important and popular ways to measure any car's performance is, of course, how fast it gets off the line. Whether you're on the racetrack or at traffic lights. That's the question, right? What does that car do zero to 60? With that in mind, we thought it was a great way to start our elimination competition. As you can see behind me, we've gathered a very impressive range of the latest rear-wheel drive four-door sedans. Each one of them unique and very desirable in their own ways. Aston Martin. Jaguar. Cadillac. BMW. Dodge. And of course, Mercedes with a combined value of over $800,000. Now, this is how it's going to work. When the dust settles on the zero to 60, two of the cars behind me will be loaded back onto the truck and have to leave the racetrack. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to start racing. The Mercedes S65, the dominator of the autobahn. The Dodge Charger Hellcat. When it comes to pure guttural performance, the Hellcat could shake the establishment. The Cadillac CTS-V. It used to be the fastest production sedan around the Nürburgring. But how will it measure up today? Racing is what BMW does best, it's their heritage, so the M5 should be a contender here off the line. The exclusive Aston Martin Rapide, nothing screams sophisticated power like this British gentleman's getaway car. The Jag, it might look sedate and stately, but it sounds and handles incredibly Of course, there are really no winners and losers in the zero to 60 test. It's just a set of numbers on a stopwatch. And I seriously doubt whether anyone looking at an Aston Martin is also considering a Cadillac or vice versa. But the racer in me always wants to know who's fastest. Okay, on to our next challenge. Now, the quarter mile was the unofficial benchmark of illegal street racing in Los Angeles throughout the decades. It was also the exact distance between the traffic lights. Mano a mano, it was the ultimate test of your car's acceleration up through the gears to hopefully over 100 miles an hour. We now have four vehicles remaining. Let's see how they get on in the semi-finals. Well guys, this is it, the final. Only two cars made it this far, the Jaguar XJR Supercharged and the Dodge Charger Hellcat. Now, there are
There are very few places in the world you can run top speed, and for a test driver, it is the most dangerous part of his job. Mistakes are magnified, any car failures are intensified. And to be honest, there are very few places in the world where you can achieve terminal velocity. In fact, it would have to be either the German Autobahn or a top secret facility just like this one. But there are many factors that come into play. It's not just putting your right foot down going as fast as you can. You've got wind here today. We've got quite a gusty speed, about 45 miles an hour. And of course, you've got track conditions. It's nice and cool, under 70 degrees, but little bits of sand drifting onto the track. And in the end, of course, it's all about trust. I'm going to rely heavily on the safety of these two vehicles behind me, especially the tires. Coincidentally, both of these are running on Pirelli P0s, a tire I'm very familiar with and have a lot of faith in. Very few people get the chance to go VMAX. I'm about to. exciting series of pure performance-based eliminations those were, but of course, in the end, there can be only one winner. But in fairness, every single one of these vehicles is lustworthy. They're the kind of cars that kids want posters on their bedroom walls of, and the grown-ups want to show off on the way to the office in. But when one of them has 707 horsepower, it is a bit like bringing a very large gun to a knife fight. So, this time the winner of the fastest, most powerful production sedan in the world is the Dodge Charger Hellcat. In full disclosure here, I only managed to hit 194 miles an hour in the Charger Hellcat simply because this test track was still not enough room to achieve the recorded and officially recognized top speed of 204 miles an hour.